Hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your November reading. First and foremost, thank you so much for being patient. I know a lot of you have been waiting and sending me get well messages. Uh, I really needed that extra time to recover, especially with all of the, the joint pain and the fractures and all of that. But I'm feeling much, much better. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for being so kind, so understanding and patient. I'm normally not this late in the month with the videos, but um, I had to practice what I preach and take care of myself and take some downtime. So December will be back on time. I'm working a little bit less this month, so I'm intending on doing the videos um, well before the end of the month as a thank you and also to kind of uh, get those out there before the holiday season too, before uh, Christmas, Hanukkah and all that stuff hits. So um, more to come on that. And of course, my uh, I'm going to be doing a live feed pretty soon. So I'll post something uh, by the week's end to let you know when that's coming up. Uh, I'd also like to say thanks to everybody that has been kind enough to uh, support me on Patreon and also through donations on my website. I'll put some information here. If you'd like to give back, please do. It really does help support uh, supplies and also uh, allowing me just to carve out the amount of time that I need to do these videos. So thank you in advance. Now let's get into the reading for this month, which of course you can always use for your sun, your rising, and your moon. And um, I like to start every reading off by looking at channeled information. The way that I arrive at the channeled information each month is I select a deck of cards, I meditate on them, and then I see what signs and symbols come through. For you, the message was to pay attention to the small details. I was in my mind's eye, I was seeing a comb, kind of going through things and finding, it was almost like it was a, like a metal detector or something. Each time it passed through, um, it, it, it revealed things. And so I want you to look at all aspects of your life, but I think special care and attention should be placed in agreements. So any sort of contracts that you might be taking a look at. This is a month where you might need a second or third set of eyes to make sure that you're picking up on all of the, uh, all the small nuances and, and all the things that you're gonna be committing to in the long run. Also, if you're doing a verbal agreement, uh, make sure that you understand one another, that the, the time, the place, and any sort of deliverable um, products or services, the, that the expectations have been laid out clearly. Um, so if you do that, I think you'll be great. The other thing is taking a look around your uh, surroundings, your car, your house, um, any sort of storage facilities. You might be able to unearth something that you've forgotten about I just think it's important to really go through things this month and take stock um, of your life. Uh, and the other thing that you might want to look at as well is your investments, making sure that everything um, is kind of proceeding the way you want. If you have any CDs, making sure that something hasn't lapsed, that you you know, just making sure that all of the small um, all the small components have been accounted for. You might be surprised by something that that you uh, discover this month. So. There you go. Let's take a look now at the cards and see what additional insights they have to yield for the month ahead. At this point, I like to remain quiet. I'm just gonna pull the camera down so you can see as I shuffle and lay out the Celtic cross. I have to say there's some really beautiful energy with uh, respect to uh, making money, managing money. There's a, there's a warning here at the end that we'll talk about, I think that has more to do with working too hard, but let's, um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I like to start first with a catalyst card, and this is a way to connect all the threads in front of us and also find a way to embrace the positive aspects of the month. This month we have um, a runes card here that's talking all about perception. Let's pull this up so you can see it. Uh, the card was reversed, which for me is really showing you that you might be working through some preconceived filters that maybe, I don't know if you've ever, um, if you've ever gone to a restaurant and you just kind of 
days and not you're looking at the menu but you're not seeing the menu um, or you're talking to someone and you're like yeah I don't know what I haven't even read this I, I don't know what I'm gonna order because your mind is not engaged or if you um, if you're looking at a street sign or something you misread it quickly and then you look at it again and you realize it wasn't the word that you thought it was at all so this month we kind of see these jumble of runes the card is reversed and what I want you to be careful of and I think this goes back to re-examining things, looking at them a second or third time, direct, making a draft and coming back. You, may, you wanna make sure that whatever filters you have, your expectations in particular, are not coloring what you're actually uh, receiving. Your perception of reality and the actual um, information, there seems to be a little bit of a disconnect, so be aware of that and be careful. There's a lot of great cards this month, however, and I wanna get into those first, and then we'll talk about the end where I think you wanna be a little bit more careful. So right off the bat, I'm seeing that it feels like you're, you're starting the month with this idea of just wanting to sink your teeth into a lot of things and be busy. The Magician card is really adept at manifestation, at uh, helping other people out if there's any sort of challenges. And what I love about this card is you can really handle anything that comes your way. The only sort of general caution with this is to make sure that what you're working on is deserving of your time and energy. Uh, because there's a tendency sometimes to do too much with this. With that being said, this is in the center, it's upright, and I'm really not getting any negative connotations with it. So really embrace that ability to start things this month, to connect with people. Uh, you also should have this great ability, uh, as we look here at the card that's crossing it, to bring in the type of people that you need in your life. So uh, for those of you that are at work, and we're looking more at coworkers here, this is showing uh, the sort of chemistry that, that is available to you uh, to just have a really productive experience. Uh, this is also a domestic card. So for those of you that are married, I'm seeing this month, it seems like you're very much in sync with your partner. Or if you've had challenges before, you're going to make strides towards meeting more in the middle of this month. If you're looking to meet someone, this is encouraging you to Participate in community events and any sort of organizational events that um, exist right now. So this could be a birthday party, um, graduation, a wedding. You want to go to these because this is where you can meet someone that might be a future friend, a uh, colleague, or maybe a lover. Um, it's, a, uh, it's really telling you to kind of get out of your shell, but that you're in a very uh, wonderful light in these events. So people are drawn to you. So if you're looking for any type of connection, Make sure that you're getting out. You can't really do that from the safety of your house. You have to get out and mingle. And this is a month for mingling. As I'm looking at what you've moved past, some of you came to a really clear decision point at the end of last month, at the uh, end of October. Some of you might have received a judgment of, you know, like a, for a court case or a final decision that you've been waiting to hear. This also indicates stepping away from something. And almost invariably, uh, when justice is reversed, she's sort of speaking in the, uh, it's not like a, a bad thing, but it's the, the answer to the question is usually no, or it's indicating a separation. So if it's a relationship, it's one side or the other deciding against staying together, um, or deciding that it's time to make a really big change if it's going to work. But there's a lot at stake with the card, and usually you want to, um, to walk away or try something new. So I feel like you've kind of let go of something big, which is good, and I think that that's important for you because what it's doing is allowing you to invest your time in other things and receive more in your life. It's necessary, if you think of like gardening, you have to remove all of the sort of like the dead leaves and the dead plants from the previous year, rework the earth, and then it's willing and able to receive new things. If you leave all of that stuff there, Things can't grow, it just sort of, it stagnates. So I feel like some of you did some house cleaning, some sort of metaphysical house cleaning in your life, and now you have an opening, and it's a very fertile month for you with, um, with work, with opportunities, and for some of you even for bringing in um, new ideas too. Uh, the, the Queen of Pentacles is a really great nurturing card. I see it a lot with fathers, with mothers, with mentors, and uh, speaking of those two parental sort of influences, this is a great card when you want to begin something big in your life, a marriage, a family, um, a project, any sort of thing, like a, even a home improvement project. So just know that you have the energy of 
creation behind you this month and you can use that in your favor. Also, there's an ideation card here in your crowning position and a management card, the uh, King of Wands. So when you combine Queen of Pentacles, which shows money, abundance, nurturing, with uh, this management card, which shows the ability to rally forces, uh, to manage schedules, to inspire yourself and others. Wow, this is a great month for um, all things really in your life, but especially work and uh, again, partnerships. To that end, I'm even seeing uh, what I usually associate with soulmates and connections from the past here. Now, this is an unexpected meeting that might be happening towards the mid-month, and there might be some unresolved issues that pop up with that because this card is in the reverse. And the other thing is for those of you that do have younger, uh, either young adults or young children in your life, this is showing that this is a time when they need to lean on you or that you might need to check in with them a little bit more. The card is reversed, which means that they're in a place of need. So be willing and able to kind of lend your insights, your time, your energy, and this sort of maternal uh, vibe, which I was picking up on to your family. And I'm going to pull the camera down for a second because the center is really speaking family across the board. We have Queen of Pentacles, Magician, Six of Cups, and then this domestic card right on top. Some of you might be in a non-traditional family or uh, there might have been a divorce. And this is a time when also you want to reach out to uh, if there's any sort of estrangement between you and your children or just feeling connected to the family, even the extended family. Um, sometimes that can be challenging when uh, especially if you're this, like maybe a spouse that wasn't related by blood but you miss the family or that you want to stay in touch with certain people. This is a month where you can make that reconnection if it's something that resonates for you. There's a lot of brainstorming that seems to be going on this month. When I look at the Seven of Cups, this is about um, dreams, ambitions, goals, thoughts. Uh, when I, the card is reversed, it's about being more decisive which is good. Sometimes the upright version can kind of be about thinking yourself into a rabbit hole, but this is showing decisiveness, as is what your uh, deep past card, Justice Reverse. So I feel like you've been working uh, on really having some clear goals and expectations. And if not, then this is the month to do it because seeing that uh, Justice card in the deep past and then looking at your ego, it's, it's saying, if you haven't done it yet, this is the month to do it. And if you've already done it, keep it, keep up with this because it's going to change the way people are looking at you. You're, you're going to come across as a much more organized, decisive leader. And there's so many really nice court cards in your uh, arena this month with the Queen and the King of uh, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands that uh, I really want you to maximize that. It doesn't always happen that way. As we look at environmental influences this month, there are going to be some challenges to your authority or perhaps you might be challenging others' authority. It's important for you to realize that uh, it's not always your job to try to fix everything for everyone else. I want you to manage all of the great energy that I'm seeing in your own life and don't take on too much. The reason that I mention that is uh, I, I talked about it earlier when I was just taking a glance at the cards. Your outcome this month is showing a likeliness for exhaustion or overexertion and a predisposition for some of you to get sick, get the flu, uh, feel a little bit run down, or have a flare up of any sort of chronic um, illnesses or conditions that you might be suffering from. So I want you to really uh, manage your energy this month and decide if it's a battle that's worth fighting. Because for some things, I feel like you've already resolved it. And if people are just coming back and testing you to see if you're still on that uh, decision path, you, you can just stay firm and say, we've already discussed this. Rather than getting into a big argument or trying to defend everything, you could just say, that's been settled. Let's move on and be firm in that. I think that's going to benefit you. Uh, before we jump into the expanded forecast, I want to talk about the hope spheres opportunity space. Uh, really, there's nothing to worry about here. I'm looking at the nine of pentacles. Some of you might have too much pressure on yourself to save. I don't normally say that for some signs, but it feels like you have enough uh, to, to get through this month when it comes to your resources. Just manage them wisely and keep on this path of trying to be independent and uh, focusing on sustainability. I think it will serve you well. Uh, the only thing that I would say is because we have that chariot card touching this, some of you may have people in your life that are too demanding when it comes to what they need um, and what they expect. 
in that case, step back from this because this is really what the uh, the Ten of Swords can also be talking about is a high maintenance person, um, and that's someone that you can't please. Since this card is Pentacles and we also have a Queen of Pentacles, this could be an Earth sign with a very sort of maternal energy or a kind of um, an overbearing energy in your life. So just make sure that you honor that, create some distance, say no, and uh, know that sometimes you just can't make people happy. So avoid this unnecessary argument or exhaustion that could be coming through. I think it is very much avoidable. That's why we have these readings. So um, good luck with that, okay? Let's go ahead now and expand the forecast. We'll start with health and we'll see what the message is for your well-being. I like to remind people that health includes your mind, your body, and your spirit. It's not just about um, one aspect. So let's take a look at health this month. Your message is strengthening bonds. I think that this has to do with um, relationships in general because this is going to affect your mental health, your physical well-being. And um, this, this comes across to me as strong connections with friends, families, and, and also with any loved ones in your life. Um, in doing this, you also know that you have help, you have support. Don't be afraid to lean on those people. Um, of course, the other thing that I see here is physical strength. So for those of you that um, have been wanting to do something to become stronger, really more in the muscles this month, you could do uh, strength building, uh, yoga and Pilates, anything that's going to really work on uh, lengthening, strengthening, and building up that muscle in your body. It's not so much about cardiovascular, this is more about uh, building up kind of like firmer and healthier muscle in your body. So if you're going to do that, also focus on your diet, making sure you're getting enough protein and balancing that out. Let's take a look now at wealth to see what additional insights this may yield. So with wealth, it's not just money, but it's also opportunities. We have the dream walker. It says dreams, collective good and illusions. And we talked about earlier this sort of illusion card or preconceived ideas card. And so this month, when you're looking at money, I want you to, and uh, career opportunities. Sometimes we get really excited and it's almost like we have starry or rosy colored glasses. And um, you have to kind of take that filter off for a second and be critical about all of your decisions and opportunities when it comes to money and careers. Um, even if it's someone that you trust or know, like an old friend, um, the cards reverse, which means they may need or want more than they're letting on. So I want you again to be careful, come through the agreement, talk a few times, really ask them why they need or want you to be involved and see then if it still resonates with you. We looked at health, wealth. Now we'll take a look at love. Love is how you're connecting with other human beings. It's not just romance. It's all sort of connections and exchanges. Your love message this month is to operate with complete and uncompromised integrity. And this is so important when it comes to relationships. I feel like if you can master this, you will have people's love and support until the end of your days. Uh, I've had one or two people in my life that I can really feel kind of operated with integrity. Uh, I knew that if I left my credit card with them, it would be safe. If I had to tell them something in confidence that they would keep it. If they said that they were going to come through, they did. So this month, work on that part of your life, cultivate it, and just know that it is so appreciated. And I would say it's also so needed on the planet at this moment. So um, using this in your life right now is probably the best blessing and blessed tool that you can have to transform relationships, to inspire others, and also to rise above any sort of arguments or negativity that might be happening in your life. Don't let other people pull you under in their undertow of emotions or um, any sort of negativity that they might be engaged in. This is your month to rise above, to be the phoenix, to be something that is inspirational to people around you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the last card, which is destiny. I always view destiny as um, a card where you can take a look at where you're headed and see if you like it. It's a GPS. And uh, this month it says prayer will help the situation. I believe that prayer and positivity are kind of two, one and the same things, but a prayer is going a little bit deeper and saying, not only do I believe that something's possible, but I really want to do everything that I can to open up the energy 
And so I want you to trust in yourself, to trust that there is a guiding force out there. I do believe there's a creative energy that can help us, but we have to release this feeling of helplessness. And that's what prayer opens up. It opens up hope, belief. And once you believe in yourself and you believe that something's possible, um, that's part of the power of prayer. Um, and then you send that hopeful energy to other people. That's also important. Um, but just trust yourself, have faith, trust yourself and be hopeful. That's really what's going to be necessary um, to make it through whatever challenge is coming up at the end of the month. Let's go ahead now and review everything and bring it into clear focus. Um, as I said at the beginning, your channeled message was to use a fine tooth comb to go over everything and make sure that no stone is left unturned and that you really understand uh, that you're on the same page as someone else and that you're not looking at stuff with a filter of preconception, thinking, oh, I already know what this is, when in fact you're not looking at it and you've missed something. Let's look at all of the cards, their positions, and we'll review them really quickly here. Uh, at the center, you have the magician showing that you can really manage anything that comes your way. Really great chemistry going on with family, friends, co-workers, and relationships across the board. Uh, I think that money is also on your side this month. We have Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, a lot of growth, a lot of stability. Uh, for some of you, there was a need to, to let go of something in the past, but it's allowing for this growth that I'm seeing all around you at the moment. Um, as we talked about, a good month for creating things, for managing things, for coming up with new ideas, um, and also for being more decisive. If you didn't finish that decision-making process last month, you have to wrap it up this month. When you're engaging in any sort of agreements or if someone comes to you with an idea or a proposal, you really want to make sure that you understand what they're getting out of it, not because you think everyone has an angle, but because um, they may not be communicating all of the little details. So you just have to make sure that you're not agreeing to something that you don't understand. There are some control issues and some uh, tendencies this month to either get into an argument or to have um, a flare up with emotions, with health. You can avoid that by understanding that you don't need to get involved. You can rise above it. And also, you know, we were talking about integrity. I think that's what this is about, going to a higher place and just stepping away from those low frequencies that could come through. Um, as we look at your expanded forecast, your health card was showing that it's important to work on connections with people this month, really healing um, and understanding those people that you love in your life. We're talking especially about family. And for those of you that have separation or estrangement from someone that you love, reconnecting so that your heart space, that's the predominant color in this card, so, uh, but so that your heart space can open up. When we look at wealth, uh, it's important for you to go past delusions and also to follow your dreams. That's what this ego card was about, was daydreaming, just making the decision and then embracing it. If you do that, that's when good things will happen with your money. Um, but just again, make sure that you don't get uh, brought into something that is someone else's dream but not your own. You have to be very clear on things like that. Um, for love this month, it's all about being honest, uh, keeping your integrity, letting people trust you and trusting other people by leading by example. Um, if you have integrity, if you operate with that energy in your life, um, you're going to you're going to be the kind of leader that people really want to get behind. And we need that. Again, there's a lot of examples now where you don't always know if where people stand. People need to know where you stand when it comes to your relationships. Finally, using hope in your life as a, um, you know, as it's almost like a candle that will inspire people, that will bring things into fruition. So allow hope to be that real catalyst in your life, and it's going to change things uh, for the better. So that brings your monthly reading to a close. I hope it gave you the information that you need. Your sign seems to be really well poised for business this month. Um, there's a little bit of tricky stuff coming through with communication and relationships. Don't let yourself get into an argument or a disagreement that could take you off this otherwise pretty um, optimistic read for the month. If you ever have something that's unique to you that you want to talk about, this is a general read and I try to cover everything, but sometimes 
there's something um, important going on in your life, feel free to reach out. Um, I have a few links below the video. The first will let you check out rates and availability. So I'm here for you if you'd like to talk and I would love to help you out. If you would like to give back to the channel because you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, I mentioned earlier that you can do that through Patreon. I also have some links on my website that will allow for a donation. Check out the second link below the video and you can uh, find a way to get involved. It's also embedded here and I'll put some information right at the bottom. I'd also like to encourage you to connect with me across different social media. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I have a newsletter, and of course I'm here on YouTube. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, this would be a great time to do that. And you can also opt into notifications so that you know when I post new videos, that's a little bell icon. Um, with all of that being said, I love to end with gratitude. And it's not just a simple thank you. I, I like to remind you that all of this work that you're doing on opening up your intuition, on trying to be stronger, on working to be, you know, having more integrity in your life. This is what's going to make um, not only your path towards ascension and evolution a, a better place with respect to your soul, with your um, metaphysical self, but you're also making the, the planet a much brighter and more resplendent place for all of us to live in. We need light workers right now. We need these um, this kind of like fireflies or spotlights out there that are bringing light and hope in times of um, uncertainty and darkness. So I believe that it's all about balance. We're here to balance the equation. So keep up your, your work this month. There's so much positivity in your spread that, that really heartened me. And the only thing I think you have to focus on this month is to stick with your decisions. Don't let people pull you into a space of their own darkness. And instead, you know, lead the way. I love that, you know, when we look at King of Wands here, it's like he's holding kind of like the, um, a torch or a spotlight. And that's what I, I really do kind of get behind image-wise each and every month. Imagine that your auric field is bright and it's light, that you're, uh, there's a halo of light above you and that you are work, working through this world every day with a sense of leadership, integrity, and uh, hope. And if you do that, like I said, this is going to be a beautiful world. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey. I wish you much love, much light, and much success with everything that you do. Thank you so much. I'll see you again uh, before the month is up. I'm going to get the, the December videos up a little early. So thank you. Take care of yourselves. And I appreciate, again, uh, your patience as I got these videos out.